Okay, well, if this is a news flash to you that you're in so much trouble, but today is Valentine's Day, and flower shops across the Bay Area are sure to be busy. 10 News reporter Grayson Com joins us live now from In Bloom Florists on Southwest Shore Boulevard there in Tampa, and I, and I imagine this is probably the busiest day for him. Absolutely. Special hours up early this early to hang out with us. But Ginger, I'm telling you, this is the one holiday where if you have not already shopped, you're not going to get in that much trouble because uh, you can just tell whoever it is that you wanted the flowers to be really fresh, right? That's the perfect way to do it. I'm at Emblooms Floors. You said these are all the arrangements that are about to be picked up or delivered a little bit later this morning. And I'm here with John Din, who is the owner of this beautiful flower shop. And John, I wanted to talk about kind of what the new trends are. It's a very traditional holiday, but what are folks doing this year maybe they haven't done in previous years? Probably about three different things. This year, it's all about being unique. How do you stand out, do something different? So you see a lot of these funky tropicals, pussy willow, fun accents. Another big trend is all about the bling. The ladies still like anything that sparkles, kind of shines. You look at some of the crystals on the vases. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's more than just a traditional glass vase or vase, depending on you know. That's a fun little touch, and probably the third thing is everybody's looking for a good value. Um, this year, a lot of the farms are having problems too. A lot of the growers have closed down, so rose prices have gone up a bit. So it's all about like how do you get the most value for your buck. One idea there is by mixing up not just doing all roses, but putting in other fresh cuts with it, some lilies, tulips, get more volume, more bang for your buck that way. Instead of just a dozen roses, maybe a half dozen, but sprinkle it in with many other flowers. Exactly. It does seem like it would stretch it a lot further. And we talked about this a minute ago. Thank you, John. I appreciate it. Uh, over here by the roses, uh, you could see these beautiful red ones, but there is a, a code of colors to different colors of roses that send different messages. And John was saying around this holiday, red or pink are pretty much the only ones he sells, but throughout the year there are different ones. Just be careful because red means love and romance. It does not mean friendship. So be careful about that. Yellow is actually the rose of friendship for joy or to get well. So that might be the appropriate one to send maybe uh, a person you work with who you don't want to get the wrong impression. There are pink roses that are love, mean love, gratitude, appreciation. White roses stand for purity innocence, sympathy, also spirituality. Then there's orange roses, which are really brilliant to look at. Uh, they, they speak to desire, enthusiasm, passion. And then there are lavender roses that you can also get. Those are about enchantment or to signal love at first sight. So know your rose or talk to your florist like the folks here at M. Blooms, and they will help hold your hand through it. Live in South Tampa, Grayson Com, 10 News.